I came to know the program through a grant, ESI. Uh, the program was being done at another school. I sent two of my teachers to observe the program there. Mm -hmm. Two trusted people, they came back, they said, this is great, we need to do it. I trust those people, brought in the program. And from, I got to go through some of the training with Scott. And just the little bit of training that I got to see, you just, as a teacher, as a principal, you just know quality. And I sensed the quality quality immediately and I knew I wanted to bring it up. So we reached a point where we're like we really need more people to know about this program. So what we did during one of our conference days is we actually engaged some of the our staff in some of the activities from PGC, <coughs> which is something that really hasn't been done before, but we played around with it and the kids actually facilitated sessions with the staff. And it opened up that dialogue around what this program is and if I feel this way when I walk out, imagine how my kids feel. Like usually when you come to school, you know, okay, my teacher is going to teach me something and most of the time your teacher is someone older of a, a higher superiority or something. But in this uh, PGC like program, you also realize that not only can you learn from uh, an adult, but you can learn from your peers. And I, I even learn things from the freshmen that I mentor. Like, and it's funny because it's like you think, oh yeah, she's the mentor, so therefore she's giving the lessons. But even when I'm giving the lessons, as I'm speaking everything like the instructions, I'm just like, oh wow. like. This isn't something you just say during this um, activity. I can use it at home. Like I've taken my own advice now, and it works at home. I've gotten a closer bond with my mother, and not just oh, in school with freshmen. Um, so. I know for me, I think it's um, fun to have someone to look up, up to you, and not just one person. Because I have one little brother, and um, it's kind of mean. So it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of fun to have a, like. 14 other students come up to you and be like, oh, hey, Jana, hey, what, how, are you, how are you doing? And like, looking forward to having our outreaches every Thursday, it just, it, it makes me happy and it motivates me to want to do better for them. Like, I, I just, mm -hmm. great. When I came to school, I didn't really know anybody. So that might be the PGC, it was like, we got to like, the first day of PGC, I believe, we were talking about like, our backgrounds. And to see that like, I had a lot in common with even my PGC leaders, it was surprising. Like I, like I came into high school thinking, all right, I'm gonna stay with the freshmen, freshmen, freshmen. But I'm, now I'm, I'm cool with like sophomores, juniors, and like seniors because of my PGC leaders. So but the more you build leadership capacity amongst your students, the more they have the ability to prevent conflict or to see conflict um, happening amongst the student body. And in a lot of cases, it's, it's built the capacity of my staff because the juniors and the seniors, in a lot of ways, do some things that the staff used to have to do. And it's, it's pretty amazing as well. So me and my partner, Janai, we were able to come to Ms. Ricardo and tell her that we thought that it would be appropriate if we conducted the mediation because we knew both students well and we felt like through within PGC and learning all the skills that it takes to be a leader and, all, and everything, <coughs> that we thought that we could do it and we could handle it. And we actually sat there, we went through the mediation with both of them, both of the students left feeling better about the situation, feeling better within their relationship. Like, So I feel like that really helped. Like me be, wanting to be, like I want to be a counselor and everything, so when I did that mediation, I was like, wow, like you know, it's not as hard as I thought and it's, it's really helpful. So. It's an opportunity for them to voice their opinion out and honestly, like, we're peers ourselves, so we're not, we can't expect to know every answer. So in a situation, if we don't know an answer, we're not gonna lie and say, oh, well maybe you should have done this. You know, we're just gonna say, like in my personal case as an example, like if there was a situation where a student was like, oh, I don't feel safe when they come from the school, I might not know exactly how to like change that attitude about her or him, but I can say something like, oh, well maybe we can meet up in the morning and come to school together, or, well, maybe we can talk if there's someone bothering you. Like, we, we find a way to come to terms if we don't know the exact solution for that person. And if there is no exact solution, we'll tell them to go to a higher person, like authority. Maybe the teachers to have more experience and give more advice, you know? Like, just because you're in PGC doesn't mean you're limited to PGC. The juniors and seniors, because they're in leadership roles, have started to identify with the faculty a little more, which is really interesting. And I think through P it must be through PGC where they really encourage the students to come to us because this group of freshmen, they're more willing to come to me than any other group of freshmen I've had. So I'm sure in their conversations with their peer mentors, go to Ms. Malloy is probably often something that they hear. So in, from my perspective, if the student was feeling unsafe in, in front of the school, I hope Kersley would do what she said 
And then also, if it was a legitimate safety problem, also encourage her to come to me and talk about it. Because it's all about relationships and communication, and less about um, you know strict procedures or formal mediations or anything like that. It's about building capacity, increasing communication skills, and building relationships.